Welcome back to the channel. Unveiling the secrets. First things first, let's talk about what really goes on in her head. If you're asking her how she feels and getting nothing more than a cold shoulder, it's not because she's having a bad day. Women just need to feel safe emotionally, mentally, physically before they let you in. It means she needs to trust that you're not going to judge her, use her vulnerabilities against her, or worst of all, leave her when she lets you in. So how do you make her feel safe? Don't just say, you can trust me. Anyone can say that. Prove that she can trust you through her actions. Well, you might be thinking you're doing everything, but she's still not opening up. Well, you could be missing one of these five things I'm about to share. The five keys to her heart. Here's where we separate the boys from the men. Let's get into the five keys to getting her to open up. And I promise you, if you master these, you'll see a whole new side of her. Key one, avoid the why trap. Now, this is a game changer when it comes to getting your woman to open up to you. Let's be honest. Most of us are naturally inclined to ask questions like, why are you upset? Why won't you talk to me? When we sense that something is off. But here's the problem. When you start with the word why, you're unintentionally putting her on the defensive. And when someone feels defensive, the last thing they're gonna do is open up. Let me explain to you why the word why is so problematic. When you ask why, it comes across as accusatory even if you don't mean it that way it's almost as if you're implying that she has to justify her feelings or actions to you doing that will make her feel cornered judged misunderstood and when she feels that way she's going to shut down rather than open up for example imagine she's been quiet all day and you ask okay hey, why have you been so distant even though you're trying to understand what's going on what she's hearing is you're doing something wrong you need to explain yourself and this will make her withdraw even more, making it harder for you to get through to her. So how do you avoid the why trap so she's comfortable enough to open up to you? It starts with changing the way you frame your questions. So instead of asking why, try to make statements that express your observations and invite her to share more if she's ready. So let me give you a practical example. Let's say you notice that she's been unusually quiet or seems stressed. Instead of asking why are you upset, you might say, I've noticed you've been a bit quiet tonight is anything on your mind now this approach is much gentler and shows that you're paying attention to her emotional state without pressuring her to immediately explain herself another effective technique is to express empathy rather than seeking an explanation for instance if she seems stressed or anxious instead of asking why are you so stressed you might say it seems like there's something bothering you I'm here if you want to talk about it now doing this acknowledges her feelings and also reassures her that you are there to support her without making her feel like she has to justify her emotions. It's also important to be mindful obviously of your tone and your body language when you approach her. Even if you're not using the word why, sometimes your tone and body language can still convey judgment or frustration if you're not careful. Now, before I wrap up this you know, whole thing about why, one more thing to consider is timing because sometimes she may not be ready to talk the moment that you notice something is wrong and that should be okay. If she's not ready to share, don't push it. You could say something like, hey, I can tell there's something on your mind, but we don't have to talk about it right now. Just know that I'm here for you whenever you're ready. At this point, I'm sure it's clear that your approach matters. When she feels like you're genuinely interested in her well-being rather than just trying to fix her problems or get to the bottom of things, she'll be much more likely to open up. Key number two, lead the way. So you see, a lot of men think that being vulnerable means showing weakness, when in reality, it's one of the most powerful ways to connect with your woman. If you want her to open up to you, you've got to lead by example. You have to be willing to go to those vulnerable places first. Let me start by saying that vulnerability doesn't come naturally to most people, and especially men. I get that because, you know, society teaches men to hide their emotions, to be tough, never let their guard down, etc. But if you're always putting on the brave face, acting like you've got everything under control, your woman is going to feel like she has to do same. She'll think that there's no room for her fears, her insecurities, or her doubts in the relationship. And that's exactly what you want to avoid. So how should you show vulnerability in a way that makes her feel safe 
and safe enough to do same. You simply have to be honest about your own feelings and experiences. And I'm not talking about the superficial stuff like admitting that you were a little nervous before a big presentation at work. I'm talking about the deeper, more personal things that you might usually keep to yourself. For example, let's say you have a fear of failure that's been haunting you since you were young, or maybe there's something from your past that still bothers you, like a relationship that ended badly or a time when you felt completely lost. Sharing these kinds of stories shows her that you trust her enough to be real. It shows that you're not just some invincible figure, you're human too. And I'm not saying unload all your problems. I'm saying share your problems in a way that invites her to do same. Lots of people don't want to be vulnerable because deep inside, well, you don't want to be judged or misunderstood or rejected. This fear is completely natural, but you gotta push through it. The reality is vulnerability is a risk, but it's a risk worth taking if you want to build something special. Talk to her about what you really want out of life and even your doubts about whether you'll achieve them. When she sees that you're not afraid to dream big and acknowledge that those dreams come with challenges, right? She'll feel at ease. Third key is something called reflective listening. Paying attention to her when she speaks is great, but have you ever tried reflective listening? Now, this is a technique that can transform the way you communicate with your woman. Reflective listening goes beyond the usual nodding along or offering generic responses. It involves understanding the emotions behind her words and then reflecting that understanding back to her in a way that validates what she's saying, right? Reflective listening starts with giving her your full attention. When she's talking, put away all those distractions you know turn off the tv put your phone aside she needs to feel that in the moment she's your only priority once she's shared her thoughts you need to reflect back what you've just heard so don't repeat her words verbatim instead paraphrase what she said in your own words to show that well you truly understood what she was saying so for example if she says i'm really stressed about my job it feels like everything is piling up you might want to respond like this it sounds like you're feeling really pressured by the demands of work. That must be overwhelming. When you say this, you're also saying you're not just hearing her words, but understanding how emotionally draining it is for her. Reflective listening is powerful because it shows that you're paying attention and that her feelings are being acknowledged. Women often open up more when they feel understood and reflective listening creates that bridge of understanding. Key number four, validation. So validation says your feelings are legitimate and I understand, even if I don't necessarily agree with your perspective. Validation can be as simple as saying, I can see how you'll feel that way, or it makes a lot of sense given what you're going through. Avoid the temptation to rush to fix the problem or offer solutions immediately. Sometimes she just needs to know that her feelings are valid and that you're there with her in that moment. For example, maybe she's upset about something that happened at work. Now, instead of jumping in with advice, like maybe you should talk to your boss, start with validation. It sounds like that situation was really frustrating and it's completely understandable that you're feeling the way you do. 